as our chairman reminded you our neighbors are all the countries of the world now so that we cannot relate our foreign policy just to a few countries around us but have to think uh, practically every country in the world and take into consideration all the possible areas of conflict trade economic interest etc it has been recognized now that if there is a conflict on a big scale anywhere in the world it is opt to spread all over the world that is war has become indivisible and therefore peace is indivisible therefore our foreign policy cannot limit itself to the nearby countries nevertheless the nearby countries always have a special interest in one another and india must inevitably think in terms of her relations with the countries bordering by land and sea what are these countries if you start from the lost pakistan i would also include afghanistan although it does not touch india's borders tibet and china nepal burma indonesia and ceylon in regard to pakistan the position has been a very peculiar one owing to the way pakistan was formed and india was divided and there have been not only all the upsets that you all know but something much deeper and that is a complete emotional upset of all the people of india and pakistan because of this it is very difficult to think to deal with a psychologically think which cannot be dealt with superficially a year and a half or more has passed and there is no doubt at all that our relations have improved and are improving there is also no doubt at all in my mind that it is inevitable for india and pakistan to have close relations sometime or other in the future i cannot state when this will take place but situated as we are with all our past we cannot really be just indifferent neighbors we can be either hostile to each other or very friendly to each other ultimately we can only be really very friendly whatever be whatever period of hostility may intervene in between because our interests are so closely interlinked as far as the other countries are concerned our relations with others are quite friendly take for instance afghanistan and our relations with afghanistan are exceedingly friendly our relations with tibet nepal and all the neighboring countries are also very friendly